Hello everyone, this is Tom with Edward Yacht Sales. And today we're looking at a Sam Devlin designed surf scoter. This is a 2015. She was commissioned in 2015. This vessel was designed by Sam Devlin on the west coast, the northwest, and it was built by uh, the owner, who is a lumber consultant. And evidently he knows his woods because this thing is just beautiful. The craftsmanship is excellent wherever I look. Now we just had uh, new blue paint on the sides here. I didn't even think it needed it, but the owner said, well, I want it to look good. Uh, so he redid the blue, and indeed it does look good. This is a 90 horsepower Yamaha. The owner bought it new in 2010 uh, but it was in a box and it wasn't put on the boat until 2015 so the motor was uh, brand new out of the box it's a 2010 motor but was commissioned again in 2015 and the name of this little beauty is uh, Sweet Dreams and it's very appropriate very appropriate we don't usually list boats this size, but uh, now and again something comes along that is uh, really special. Um, and this, this is one of those times. Uh, you'll note right here that the swim step is an extension of the hull. So that the original design being 22 feet, uh, this adds 2 feet to the hull length. So this is a 24 foot boat and then some with the outboard there. Got a stainless swim step, boarding ladder if you will, which can be used at all times in the water or on land. It never ceases to amaze me what people are capable of when they set their mind to it. It's, uh, uh, this gentleman uh, did this in his spare time. It took him seven years to build this. A lot of people never finish these kind of things. Um, and he finished this one in spades. I mean the uh, the finish work on this thing is is incredible inside the cabinets are finished everywhere you look it's uh well it's just a it's just cute as a button that's all i can say about it these are uh two uh solar cells on the roof uh they produce four amp hours each and it goes into a solar control box which feeds the house batteries it's going up forward here if I can keep from busting my south end. It's very easy to get around here. If you notice the way I just came, and I have a camera in my hand, you have a grab rail the whole length of the way. This is a bow pulpit right here. And uh, that is a Lumar 700 Pro anchor windlass on there. And it's more than enough for this boat. Uh, you have a, the chain and the road are new. Uh, it's a fortress Danforth type anchor, but the, uh, you have about uh, a few feet of chain and the rest is nylon road, all new. This uh, Lumar windlass will reel the road up as well as the chain. Here's the uh, forward hatch. You can see how well everything has been executed. It 
Uh, it's just stunning. I wish I had that ability. That's going back aft. We'll, we'll take a look inside. There is some stuff stored on deck now, and I might, well, might as well get this out of the way now. Um, you can find this boat on yachtworld.com, our website, which is edwardsyachtsales.com, boattrader.com, powerboatlistings.com. Those are just to name a few, and the two most popular would be uh, Yacht World and probably Boat Trader and our own website, edwardsyachtsales.com. And uh, we advertise on uh, somewhere close to 60 websites. We advertise in hard print. So if you get in there and you uh, punch in there the name of this vessel, which is Surf Scoter, S-C-O-T-E-R, 24, you'll, you'll find this boat. I have uh, over 100 photos of the vessel online and this video will be on there as well as long as uh, as well as the most complete description that I can get of the vessel uh, when I come on board I think surf scoter is the name of some northwestern duck however there aren't many of these over here on the east coast you have a butcher block countertop in the galley here it does have a microwave that's down here. There you go, there's a microwave in there. It's a Frigidaire microwave. The uh, deck on this vessel is cork. Now, of course, this gentleman had the finest woods available to him. The trim is done in Douglas fir. Here's the uh, interior helm area. I hope we got enough light in here today. We do have a chart plotter right there. It's a Garmin 545S chart plotter. Your speed will be displayed on the chart plotter as well as your depth. Uh, there's an engine RPM indicator there. You can control your anchor windlass by a switch back there, up or down. It does have uh, Yamaha uh, control throttle right there for forward and reverse and throttle as well as trim. A standard horizon VHF radio stereo and here is the uh, galley area. Oh, by the way the seat uh, is portable. It moves around increasing your counter space right there. You see, uh, we have places for your flatware there. We have a knife block for your knives. Uh, the, uh, all this is handmade by the owner. And I think he did just a, just an incredible job with this thing. It's, uh, it's hard to put into words. It, uh, the overhead is very, very nice and well executed. Here are some of the uh, core samples. See if I can get my camera to come in on that. The thick one right there is the transom. These other two are uh, different parts of the hull thickness. And here is the uh, forward berth. Uh, please excuse, uh, I did this video over because I had some of the data wrong. Uh, so there are some things stored in here right now. Um, but this has uh, this section right here of the V-berth does come out and uh, there's a finished uh, wood platform under that so that opens it up so you can walk up in between there. Up forward there is your chain locker. It does have an opening hatch up there. Look at these surfaces how they come together and how well finished that is. It looks like it was so well done. It looks like it was molded. It, it is not. It's, uh, it's all handmade. Uh, just incredible. Uh, this right here 
And excuse the camera work, folks. Uh, all your electrical wiring here, and it's not very bright in here, I'm sorry, uh, is in here right behind the console. Very easy to get to. There's a solar control box in there. That solar control box is 10 amps. If you remember, as I told you before, each solar panel is uh, 4 amps. So that's 8 amps total. And there's a solar control box. That charges the house batteries. On board you uh, have house batteries. Two of those, there are 6 volt batteries, I believe. May be mistaken about that, but there are two house batteries. There is one group 27 start battery for the Yamaha back there. This is a voltage meter right here. And this is your 12 volt panel. You might note down here, these are cigarette lighter plugs right there type outlets for 12 volt. There's your 120 volt panel right here uh, at the helm. There's that microwave I was telling you about. Let's move some of this out of the way right here. And uh, I'll show you the ice box, which is cool in its own right. Uh, again, excuse camera work. Look at this lid. When I pull it up, you should check out the thickness of this lid. You can see that. The entire ice box is handmade, finished inside and out, and it's that thick, as thick as this lid, all the way around that ice box. It will keep things cold for quite a long time. There we go. Back in. Fits tight. This vessel is fully self-contained with the uh, solar panels. Here's your console up here. That's a Ritchie magnetic compass. Uh, the TV is up here above. It's in a cradle that swivels down. You pull these pins right here and it swivels down, but uh, for normal operation, the uh, television is up and out of the way. It has LED lighting throughout the boat, outside, inside, you name it. Let's take a look inside the, oh my goodness, uh, inside the poop deck. Yes, I guess that's appropriate. And uh, here we go. Um, it has a shower in there. This tank right here, this aluminum tank, is welded aluminum. It was built by the owner. It's a hot water heater. It runs off 12 volts. And it does a pretty good job here, too. Uh, it's got a shower. The uh, deck is uh, wood grate. And there is a shower sump there to drain off the, uh, the shower water. This head here is a sea head, and it is a composting head. There's a crank there that you turn it with after you go potty. And uh, there's not a whiff of odor here any, anywhere. It's very easy to deal with. I know a lot of people don't understand these, but this is the best thing, I think, for a boat like this. They're terribly clean. Everything comes out dry. You can dump it in a, a dumpster. Uh, it separates number one and two. Number one goes into a standard milk jug. Uh, number two goes into peat moss, which dries it out after you turn it with the handle. And it all comes out dry. Um, works very well. And as I said, there isn't a whiff of odor in here anywhere. Uh, you don't have to deal with septic systems, septic tanks, hoses going bad, and odor in the boat. If you've been around a lot of boats, you'll smell that uh, holding tank odor. Uh, again, look at the finishing on the corners and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. 
There's a mirror in here. Oop, there we go. I I can't really say enough about this little boat, uh, except for the fact that I see boats day in and day out, and I was uh, awful impressed with this this one. Uh, if you want to see her yourself, you, you give me a call. My name is Tom. Uh, we're just people around here. I'm very easy to talk to. Ask me any questions you want about the boat and come see her. Um, the amazing thing about these types of boats like this on a trailer is this thing is self-contained. You can use this for a camper. It can be pulled with a standard size pickup truck. You can go to places in this great country of ours uh, that are out of the way, campgrounds, RV parks, any body of water that uh, has a boat ramp, you can launch this thing and you can explore that too. It just, uh, it's explorer's dream come true. It'd uh, uh, be a heck of a lot of fun. But again, if you want to talk about this boat, you give me a call and I'll be glad to talk with you about this vessel. Uh, my telephone number will be in all my advertising. Uh, we don't list prices on the videos because that may change and I'd have to make another video. Uh, but give me a call if you like this little boat. I'd be glad to show her to you. And outside of that, I think uh, I'm through here with the day. There's not another thing that I can think of to tell you about the vessel. Except she sure is cute. Uh, have a great day now. Bye-bye.